All right. Well, we're getting things done. I'll tell you that. Everything's pretty much clean in here except for the carpets. I still got to shampoo those. I just did the Fantastic Fan. So the screen's nice and clean now and the blades are all nice and clean. Now there is one thing that I wanted to at least start. Um, and that is the TV in the front. All right, guys. There's been one project for the past couple years that I just never started, um, probably because I had so many other things going on, but today's the day the TV and the dashboard has to go. All right, guys, as you can see, it has one of these big, you know, 22 inch or whatever tube TVs in the dash. My plan for this space is going to be possibly some additional speakers, maybe a subwoofer and some shelving to put maps and things like that in. Now it looks like it's only held on with these screws. If you take a screwdriver and pop these little plastic caps off, you'll see there's nothing but a Phillips screw underneath that. And I'm pretty sure once I get these little screws out, this bezel, this whole TV bezel thing will come out and then I bet you there's something else holding the TV in and I'll just have to unscrew that and out comes the TV. So let's start with that top one. Now I'm keeping the screws. Keeping the screws because I'm gonna wanna put this bezel back in. Uh, it's a fairly decent decorative um, trim. So if I can save it, I will. Well, it looks like the bezel is actually attached to the TV. Interesting. Maybe have to take that off after with those bottom screws. There's two little uh, like square slotted screws, not Phillips. I got one of them out with the Phillips. The other one I can't get out. I'll have to get a square bit, which I have in the cabinet. Um, but let's finish taking this out. Now there is some connections in the back, like it's a regular TV, it's uh, nothing special about it. It's got a coaxial plug in the back cable and I'm sure there's a power. Wow, to be honest with you that was very simple. I'm shocked I didn't do it earlier. And look I got a little plywood base right here um, and I could probably put a subwoofer right on that side or even facing down underneath this drill that out don't know yet very interesting I know this camera is not the best in low light uh, we're not getting the best quality job here but you know something I've said it before I use the cameras that I have I have not purchased anything new yet um, there will be a GoPro 
or at least a new cell phone that can handle the uh, low light instead of just my uh, my action camera here all right so really all that's under there two connections I have a coax for the cable and a plug a standard household plug and the TV is out now I have this big gaping hole um, I definitely have to cover that up because I don't plan on putting anything in there um, in the near future I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be a few weeks before I put anything in the dash and I don't want that big hole just sitting there let me see what I can come up with all right well we got the new bit it's a square bit it's called an s2 in case you're wondering in case you have the same TV you see those little square bits um, it's called an s2 two of those and I think this will come right out now well there's one more on the top here there's like an L bracket a little short one probably so uh, it doesn't damage the TV but now trim piece comes right out I'm doing this one-handed and I have my wooden piece which looks good I'm gonna sand it and paint it eventually uh, maybe do something with it I don't know carbon fiber wrap it do the dash too. the little panels on the dash that'd be pretty cool I'm gonna put that back on but I think I'm gonna put like a piece of cardboard behind it or something like that tomorrow and now we just got to get rid of this thing um, around here you have to take your TVs to be recycled nobody takes TVs like this um, and I don't blame them because they're a waste you can get a nice flat panel if I wanted to I could put a nice flat TV in there and still have storage but we're not gonna sit here and watch TV on the dash I have the other TV right here as you can see which that one I'd like to you know upgrade to maybe a 27 inch someday but it's no rush it's good 22 it's more than enough all right let me get this trim piece back on with some sort of backing to it all right guys that's it trim back on uh, we'll build something in there I got clean access to behind the stereo stuff like that if I need to do something with that um, I think it's gonna work out good oh and one thing I want to tell you is they are all square bits I just got lucky before um, using a Phillips I thought they were Phillips and it took all four of them out but when closer inspection of the screw, they are the S2 square bit. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it like that. That was a heavy TV. I just uh, lightened the load a bit for sure. All right. Well, that's all I can do now. I don't have any fabric or anything else to put. You know, I was just going to sandwich it to make like a false front of black fabric or black cardboard or just something, a piece of wood painted. Um, but I'm not, you know, not at home base. I'm here on site, so it'll have to stay like that for now. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. I know this has been a quick one, but there's plenty more where this came from. All right, guys, take care.